gangsters. What's up, guys? Yo. What is good? Someone, a sword. Brandon, how you guys doing, man? Let's see what we got going on here today. All right, we got a bunch of shit to do. Sniping is so dead right now. Why is that? You mean like the opal filter or what? <clears throat> Sniping is super competitive right now. Everybody is trying to do it. Got some 75th CP3s up. Wow. Crazy this card's so cheap, man. He's fun as hell. Joel, how you doing, man? Opal filter, yeah. It's just competitive, man. There's just a ton of people on it. So let's see what we got to do here. We got moments of the month. Win a triple threat or triple threat online. 150 points in single player games. N threes and a single challenge. Okay, so kind of do those at the same time. Get a triple double. All right. For 42 points over multiple triple threat online games. All right, so we'll jump into triple threat. First PD for the moment, it's either JJJ or Chris. Stroll Mile Thrift Time? Hell yeah. Not gonna lie, if you don't think... If you don't think I already have a hollow Stroll Mile Swift, then... Got Jason uh, Tatum yesterday, he's so tough. Yeah, Jason Tatum is a very good card, man. Alright, let's jump into some TTO. Let's throw, let's throw Stromile, let's throw, who else? You know what, let's, let's throw OJ Mayo in here, why not? And, someone who can rebound. Uh, Josh Smith. Let's do that. But hell yeah, Gavin. Stroll out Swift time. See how he does. Kevin Durant. Faku Kampazo. And Yao Meng. Yao yeah, Meng, do you throw? <sighs> Stromile. Oh, God, I'm excited to try him out, man. Really? That's a foul? Come on, now. Go throw. Ooh, okay. OJ has a good shot. Let's see if we can say the same for Mr. Swift. Oh, very early. Yeah. Okay. I'll figure it out. It's gonna go in. Really? I just got bump steel. Okay. Bro, my God. All right, let's see what Stro got. That's what Stro got. All right, pretty happy with that. Dude, why is Josh Smith going so slow? Let's go. 
Oh, Stromile, I need you to be better than that. Come on, buddy. All right. I guess he just is allowed to score anytime with Yao. Late. Okay, so I had a very early and a late. I held them about the same amount of time. Bro, all right. I guess he's just going to get... I'm assuming you have to get assists with Faku Kampazo. What's your most expensive auctionable card? Ooh, probably Chris Paul. Because he's like around 100k. God, look at this off ball. I can't time releases for shit. Um, yeah, I would say Chris Paul after that would be the bonus. Um, okay. I might need to make one shot eventually. OJ Mayo has a good shot. OJ Mayo has a very good shot. 6'5 point guard? Yep. Okay, OJ Mayo is a problem. How is that not a block? That's such a... Oh my god, dude. Alright. There we go. Not SP Rich, but if I sold Luke and Lamelo, I'd be over 2 million? I mean, that's... That's... Yeah, I mean, you're not, you're not far off from where I'm at. And I think you're around the same for card collection, too. Yo, what's going on, Ahmed? I don't, I just want to score. Come on, man. Thank you. Um, OJ is really good. Considering he's like, 3k or something like that like this card's dude all right the ball's literally going through my players right now this is irritating that's fine oj mayo is better can live with that 2k needs to chill with shooting guards uh what I am not sure what you mean. Like you want them to stop putting out shooting card? Shooting guard cards? If you didn't stream, do you think you'd still be playing 2K? Um, not as much. Hi kids, do you like violence? You wanna see me stick nine inch nails through each one of my eyelids? Um, what's going on, Jay? Uh, yeah, if I, if I didn't stream, I would still play, but probably not as much. I would play with my friends. Um, I just want Trey Lyles, because I think this card actually looks alright. Slim JD, okay. Okay, Gavin, you know what? Not bad. Not bad. Amazon when I came in here? Hey, I'm never going to argue with that. Trey Lyles needs 21 points in a single TTO game. All right. We got to score 21. Okay, so we got to do another triple threat game, and then we got to just get into these. So that's not bad. Excited for this Nicola. We might get Friday or All-Star Weekend. Might be really good. Be really glitchy. Yeah. Um, the fact that we didn't get a DeJounte Murray or a uh, Nicola Jokic means 
I'm to me it means that they have to be coming out soon. Uh, let's throw some bonus out here. You get Stro. I have a Hollow Stro. You know I had to get a Hollow Stro Mile Swift, man. I can't just not have Stro Mile Swift on my team. Jared Vanderbilt. Oh, wow. New locker code. Let's go. I was a little tempted to rip a pack or two in MT to see if I could get an original owner Stro Mile, but I'm all right. I'm all right not getting it. Oh, Stro, I need you to hit these shots, baby. Although, I think I might have a bad coach on right now. Also, I mean, he shot like 7% from three for his career. That is, okay. I know where the window is now. Gavin, though, thank you for the code, man. I appreciate that. This is odd. What's going on, SA? How you doing today, man? Dude, OJ Mayo is really good. Like, I need to see what all he can get. Because if he can get, like, a shoe and maybe, maybe some defensive badges, because I doubt his defense is that good. All right. I honestly didn't even really care if I won that game. I just want the points. OJ, 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan. Wow. Dude, catch and shoot Deadeye Sniper comes with... Comes with clamps. Damn. Can't get hyperdrive. That's interesting. The only badges he can't get are hyperdrive... Post Playmaker, Back Down, Dream Shake, and Drop Stepper. So basically just don't go anywhere near the post with OJ, and you're fine. He's fast as hell. Dude. Yo! Chillin' turn 30 today. No big deal. Happy birthday, bro. Big W's. Throw the Shockers out for SA, man. I got Maurice Lucas from Ascension. He's so good on defense. Clutches up a lot. Oh, yeah. I value hollows higher than OO cards. I do, too. I do, too. And I will take pretty much anything over a graded card. I don't even like looking at graded cards anymore. But yeah, man. The big 3-0. Congrats on, on making it another turn around the sun. I'm, I, got, I got 32 coming up. That's a weird feeling. According to 2K Labs, Hyperdrive is nearly a useless badge, so it don't matter if you don't got that. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those badges that I feel... Imagine 42? Yeah, Christ. Uh, this guy's got a hollow wang. Um, Hyperdrive is a badge that I feel when I'm using some of my cards, just because the animations are quicker. So even if it doesn't have a numerical uh, value, it's a different thing that I see. How's Wang? Have you tried him? I'm, I'm not even going to buy Gigi Wang, probably. I mean, that still counts. can't believe my son is about to be in college in two years. Damn. Pepperidge Farms remembers college. There we go, Stro. How expensive is he and how is OJ Mayo? OJ Mayo is incredible. And he's like 3,000 MT. He's amazing. Quick Chain and Downhill are much better than Hyperdrive. Yeah. All I know is that I feel the difference when I use a card that has Hyperdrive versus when they don't. So. Yeah, I got OJ for 3K. So, I mean, if you, if you take a sec, you can definitely get him cheap. Uh, how much is Wang? Last time I checked, he was like in the 80s, but that was a little while ago, so he might have dropped. Uh, and Yi, I mean, if you're asking about these prices right now, they're going to change by the time you can get online. So whatever the prices are right this second, it'll change by the time you can get online. But yeah, OJ's awesome. 
60k all right because i'm in school yeah by the time you're out of school like the prices will come down so it'll it'll be different and ye like will have no idea what his price is until he expires Showed up to class, got in the classroom from another teacher, but then your teacher isn't here. Well, sounds like a day off to me. Dude, OJ is crazy. OJ is legitimately very good. Alright, so we got our... Uh, Point total from this, so that's kind of nice. Well, that should have been more contested, but whatever. There we go. There's Garland, looks like a demon, basically point uh, PD Lillard that can play defense. Yeah, Darius Garland is awesome. I've actually been using his uh, his heat check and his series one card a little bit, and he's good, man. He's very good. Lots of new moments of the month. I'm surprised there's no Jokic or Dejounte Murray, but I mean they've got to be coming out soon. No Bismack Biombo too. That was that that one is the is that sucks because I was really hoping we'd get busy, but it is what it is. You can't get every card you want all the time, so. For the most part, I mean, yeah, every card that came out today is good. The Mo Bamba looks kind of bad. Which is the easiest pink diamond to do for Booker? I'm on the screen to pick. I honestly haven't looked at the challenges, Josh. I, I just looked at the Ruby ones, and I'm just working my way down the list. Aaron Jackson could be a top big man in the game, I'm uh, Yeah, could be, could be. I know moments of the month cards. Uh, they're in the game. They're in the database. They've been tweeted about. Um... Yeah, there's tons of different ways you can look at it. I have 500k, I want that E card. I think, yeah, you'd be able to get them for 500. Uh, let's get our second Ruby card here. And we'll probably go using him and Siakam would be absolutely demon time on defense. Yep. Siakam's great. Um, Let's go PB. Now we got to do some offline. We got to go a triple double. He works for 2K. That's how he knows exactly. I got that hookup. Five blocks with Onyeka. That's not bad. And then PB. Oh, six steals. Okay, so that's going to be a tougher one. Uh, and Trey Lyles just needs that. That's not bad at all. 24 and 5. Boards with Jared Vanderbilt. 32 points, 3 blocks with Mo Bamba in a single game. That's not bad. And then 8 threes with Malik Monk over multiplayer games. Okay. That's pretty solid, man. Right the lineup. Lynn, Reggie, Odom, Tatum, Siakam. Um, I don't love running Siakam at the 5. Just because if you come up against like a Porzingis or a Yao, he gets just clowned. Just, they just go over top of him. Um... I'd probably switch Tatum and Odom to run Odom at the four. That's just personal preference. Lynn's good. Reggie's a god. Yeah, that's a good team. I genuinely think uh, OJ Mayo is better than Jeremy Lynn, though. Go down three more. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> so we got the easiest. Uh, sorry, these are the pink diamonds. So 34 points in Unlimited with Middleton. 12 blocks with Jaron Jackson, 121 points with Freddy over multiplayer games, uh, 42 points with Doma in online games, and 18 assists, 27 points in a single game with Garland. So, easiest one would probably be Freddy or Sabonis, honestly. Um, or, no, Jaron Jackson Jr. would be the easiest one. Because just going triple threat, jump, bait them into the rim, swat the shit out of them. <clears throat> so, all right, so we got Troy, six steals. All right, that's going to be, that's going to be the toughest one. 
and then 21 points with Trey Lyles in a single game. So we may as well just get that one out of the way. Uh, Trey Lyles, where you at? There you are. And yeah, we'll throw in whoever the hell else I said. Uh, Troy. Is he a small forward? Yes, he is. Okay. And we'll just go Joe Kim. Who the heck is Swift? Stromile Swift is a player who used to be in the NBA. Um, crazy athlete. He's like 6'10 with like a 45-inch vert. He used to dunk on guys. Played for the Grizzlies, uh, the Nets. And then I think he had like, in his last season, I think he played for, the, for Phoenix for like a couple days. And he might have, I think he played for Houston. But yeah, just a good player. Well, I mean, he's a, a decent enough player, but just exciting. He was a role player that I really liked. Do JR in that KD spotlight? Not a bad idea. Never heard of him? Yep. I mean, he retired probably before you became a fan of basketball. Before you started watching it seriously. From... From a while ago not a while ago but like over a decade yeah a lot of these guys that don't have cards in 2k for a couple years a lot of people just don't know who they are i bet a ton of people don't know who eddie house is but people that watch basketball in the late 2000s they know who he is This Trey Lyles has a really nice jumper. I, I didn't green it there, but it's definitely good. For a power forward especially, 6'9". Gotta make that, but... Okay. Yeah, I got slapped by Skip to my Lou. Oh, fair. I remember him as the guy who absolutely postered Yao. As one of the guys who absolutely postered Yao, anyway. But he put a lot of dudes on posters. So it's not exactly saying much. Stromile dunked on a ton of people, man. No audio, big waves for Greek. Stream for nine more hours. Kobe had a nice Yao poster. Yeah, a couple people had some good Yao ones. T-Mac actually had a good one, I think. When he came back. Or maybe it was before he went to Houston. I can't remember exactly what the timeline was, but I seem to remember him having a good one on Yao. Maybe it was when he was in New York. I don't know. I also might be misremembering. Ray Lyles has a nice shot, man. Sharp shooter takeover. Dude. I gotta be getting these, these uh, steals. I think Bradley might be the tallest guy to get dunked on a lot. Yeah, but... I mean, he's also the second tallest player ever. And he didn't even get dunked on a lot. It's just... <clears throat> it's like dunking on Rudy Gobert. Like... People want to go for it because he's big. People want to dunk on Boban because he's big. Like, if you're a big man, and especially if you're a shot blocker, players want to dunk on you. This is how it goes. So they're more likely to get dunked on because they're contesting more dunks. Guys that don't play defense, and especially guards that aren't in the paint, don't get dunked on as much because there's less opportunity. Getting dunked on, even getting crossed over, doesn't mean you're bad on defense or whatever. It means you were playing defense. Think of McGrady on Bradley? Yeah, McGrady on Bradley, that was a nasty dunk. Okay. Alright, let's go, 
Ouch, right? Dude, this Trey Lyles is actually legit. Vince Carter had the best poster dunk. Um, uh, the best poster dunk? I mean, he jumped over a dude. I would say Vince's best poster dunk was the one he had on Alonzo. Dude, Trey, you gotta make that, man. Come on. Mm. Matumbo got dunked on. Yeah, Matumbo got dunked on a ton. White Howard's been dunked on a ton. Vince's best dunk isn't even that Olympics one. Uh, okay, so before you say it, I have a couple of selections that I would put over the Olympic one. Um, first, I would put the... Uh, was it at Rucker? Or was it Drew League? But the... Uh, the windmill lob that he caught. And to be fair, I said that, but there's a stream delay, so you heard it before... Or, you heard it... I, I said it before you typed it. Alonzo is not... There you go. Alright. So we agree. So I was going to say, Alonzo is his best poster, but I think maybe his best dunk is either the lob that he caught uh, when he was like, he jumped from like the free throw line, turned around, caught it way behind his head, and crushed it. That one was just stupid. Or the, uh, or the, the windmill lob that he caught at, I think it was Rucker. But yeah, his dunk on Alonzo, like, that's... To jump up, hit a dude, and then cock it back, and then dunk it, it was like, alright, I guess... I guess you're done. <laughs> Freezy, what's going on, Josh? Uh, here, let's throw in that code. We may as well. Kept elevating after the contact, too. Yeah. That was one of those, like... It wasn't, like, a Tom Chambers level of, like... Hitting a body and then, like, getting his knee up on a dude's shoulder and being like, Alright, I'm 14 feet in the air now. Who do I want from this? I think I... I think I want Malik. Like, I want Bamba. I want, I want Vando, I want, I, ah, God, man, I like a lot of these cards. I like Malik just because I've been messing around with him, so I'm going to take Malik. Alonzo went down, events kept going up, it, it, it was a little crazy. Also, Jay's right, man, nine likes, we got 20 here, we can definitely, we can hit 20 for sure. I'm not worried about that. You guys got this, what about Baron over AK? Baron over AK was pretty good. Um, It was the hype around that dunk that made it better in my opinion. The dunk itself was great. But Baron Davis is just I, something about Baron Davis is just so likable when he was like, especially when he was in uh, in Charlotte or Golden State, I guess. Um, but yeah, to say the best poster ever, I mean the Alonzo one is definitely up there. What's going on, Bren? Alonzo was definitely up there as one of the best posters. Blake on... I think Blake on Perkins is better than Blake on Mozgov. Um, I'm not going to lie. The, as much as I shit on the guy, the Westbrook dunk on Gobert is like... Pretty close to as much as you can dunk on somebody. Tom Chamber dunk. More disrespectful? I mean, the Tom Chambers dunk isn't disrespectful. It was just... He got his knee up on a guy... And got elevated higher, so he two-handed it and just crunched a dude. Um, Monk, eight three-pointers in multiplayer. Okay, that's not too bad. Jordan on Ewing was a great poster. Uh, yeah, the Shaq on Chris Dudley. I mean, that's that's legitimately just disrespectful. Um, who else, man? Sh yeah, Shaq on Dudley for sure. Uh, Jordan on Ewing was a really good one. I'm trying to think of like the best... 
like all over a guy. Like Sean Kemp had like twelve. Um, Chris Gatling, Alton Lister, those were two of those are two of the best dunks you're gonna see. Um, T Mac on everybody. Uh, Amari on Anthony Tolliver was pretty savage. Uh, oh, DeAndre on Brandon Knight. Like, it was a lob. I get it. Brandon Knight's like 6'1". But if he'd retired that night, I don't think anyone would have blamed him. The dude got assaulted via basketball. That was... That might... That might be like the one dunk where I genuinely just felt bad for a guy because Brandon Knight was on the receiving end of so many highlights CP3 on Dwight was nice Kobe on Dwight on the UNLV court that was that was great that was great um it's weird I think I've got Reggie and Pascal W nah man two of the free two two of the best cards in the game that you can get for completely free that's huge L man um it's weird yeah whenever i think of the best poster dunks i always think of a dunk that shannon brown missed on jason richardson where if that dunk goes down it's like one of the most disgusting things in the history of time because he jumped from like the free throw line he was like parallel to the ground and almost murdered him um Oh, Anthony Edwards on Utah Watanabe was pretty bad. That that was tough. Um, Jake Lehman had a really good one. Chase Budinger had a couple good ones. Um, Zach Levine actually has had a couple good posters. A lot of a lot of his best dunks are in transition or on the break, but he's had a couple nice ones where he caught guys. Those are always better in my opinion. Bridges on Capella. Bridges, just in general, man. Bridges, Miles Bridges is a freak. I love that dude. He's so fun to watch. Um, all right, I need a triple double. I need a triple double, and I need to make ten threes in a game. I should really be writing these things out. LeBron alley over Jason Terry. Yeah, that was that was fish in a barrel. That was just that's that's one of those ones where you're like, ah, oh, poor guy. Um. Okay, I gotta get a triple double and ten threes. So I think what we're gonna do is go into one of these challenges. Um, we'll use then. Okay. We we'll use Sven Nader instead of Joe. Whoop! No. Okay, we use Sven Nader instead of Joe Kim. Better player, Kemp or Larry Johnson? Um, at the peak of their powers, I would take Kemp over Larry. Larry was a better shooter. There are stretches in the 96 finals, Sonics Bulls, where Sean Kemp is the best player on the floor. And I don't think Larry had that, like, that gear in him. Kemp could hit, he could hit from the elbow, he could hit from the corner, he would dunk on guys, he would block shots, he played hard, he was athletic as shit. Um, if his personal life wasn't such a mess, Kemp should have been regarded higher than he was. One of Ja Morant's countless almost dunks. Yeah, Ja has a couple ones where it's like, hey man, why do you hate everybody? Can't know if I can question over Larry. Larry, don't like, don't get it twisted. Larry had some really good years, but he also had the benefit of playing with some other really, really great players. So did Kemp. But I mean, you talk about the second best player on on a finals team and a guy who like put the fear of God in people. I, I don't know, man. I don't think people were scared of Larry Johnson the way they were scared of Sean Kemp. And I could be wrong about that, but just based on what I what I watched. And I, I mean I'm also a little biased because I've said I've said a bunch of times, like, 
the 96 Sonics are the the team that made me fall in love with basketball. So the first team I ever loved was was the 96 Sonics with Peyton, Hemp, Detlef. Like, those are the guys. What about Rob Artest? Rob Artest. Depending on the new card. Hey, what's going on, Dame? Uh, dude, I think these look fantastic. I think these all look very good. Um, I was legit scared of Sean Kemp as a kid. Dude, if he was playing against your team, you're like, all right, just don't murder any of the players I like. Uh, okay, so Sven is there. Troy is there. Need some help. Thinking of completing the 2010 set. All missing is AD, Chris Paul, and Giannis. Thinking of selling all the remaining cards and use the MT to make more MT. I mean, you can always stack up MT. Keep in mind that there's going to be super packs for all these uh, 70 or the 75th cards. So I don't think there's any hurry in collecting them all right now. <clears throat> Better Sonic career, KD or Ray? I mean, Ray. KD was a Sonic for a year. For two years? If you're talking about Sonics and Thunder, then, I mean, yeah, Kevin Durant was an MVP, so. If you're talking just as a Sonics player, yeah, like, it, it's a rookie or an all-NBA player, or an all-star, all anyway. So it's not exactly a fair comparison. Burr Brown's got a nice shot. Russ gets drafted as a Sonic, then they moved a month later. Same with uh, Ibaka. Ibaka was the last player drafted by the Seattle Supersonics. TJ Carlissimo played him at the shooting guard. KD was also not as big as he eventually became. Um, and he also wanted to play the two. So that would be the better move as of right now? I would say so. I miss the Sonic so much. I, I was saying to Gavin literally last night, uh, if if a team moves to Seattle, they're my new favorite team, no matter what. If the Sonics come back, they're my team. Like, they were my team before the Celtics. They'll be my team if they ever come back. If they do an expansion, if anything like that happens, if Seattle gets a team, they are my team in the NBA. Has to happen eventually? You would think so, right? Kansas City needs a team again. We have a huge fan base just waiting for a team. That's true. That's true. Kansas would be a good spot for an NBA team. I think there needs to be another Canadian team, too. Because, I mean, the, the one problem is that, like, Canada doesn't have the same appeal to a lot of guys, but if they go to a high metropolitan area where there's there's the population to support it, I think an NBA team would do well. It would probably have to be further out west. Like, they'd probably have to go to the Vancouver area. What else is there to do in Kansas? That's true. Kind of how I, think, how I feel about, like, Oklahoma City or even Portland to a degree. Or Minnesota. Calgary needs an NBA team. I don't think they have the support. There, I've, I've been to Calgary a bunch of times, and, like, there's pockets. There's pockets there, but I don't know if it would be a sustainable fan base to make it worth it. But I think there's enough, there's enough very good teams in the NBA, and parity is pretty good. That I think we're at a point where we're gonna end up at 32 teams soon. I I don't I hope they don't do 31 because I hate I hate the imbalance and the fucked up schedule and all that stuff. So I hope if they do it, they do one west, one east. But we can't be too far away from adding teams to the NBA. 
Hey, thank you for the str the uh, the strub is what I was gonna say. Thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate that. Detroit doesn't deserve sports teams. Uh, I will say I've been to a few games in Detroit, not at the new arena, but at the uh, the Palace, and it was it was good. I don't love Detroit as a city. I don't love going there, but. Purely to go for the games, the fan base, like the crowd is good. The palace was fun. It's the the biggest problem is just that the Pistons are so bad, so consistently, that yeah, I don't know. To be fair, I mean it's like Philly. Philly boos their own team more than any other city in professional sports. So, I like it because Philly fans keep shit real, but you could argue that they're a worse place to be a, a franchise. Uh, out, of, out of the ball, brothers, do you feel Lamelo already show signs in his career might be better than Lonzo? Uh, I think he, I think he's. It's tough to say because he's featured so much more. Lonzo's a better defender. There's zero question about that. Um, Lonzo is just Lonzo's just as good a passer, and is a higher higher efficiency shooter. Lamelo is higher volume. Um, their games aren't that similar. Lonzo's just very solid, and Lamelo is a bit flashier, a bit goofier. Um, Lamelo's great. Like I, he's he's really good. I I was wrong about him. Like I remember watching him in high school and thinking like there's no way he ends up being like an all star. Or I I'm honestly uh, at the time I didn't think he would ever have an NBA career. He has completely proven me wrong. Um, and I don't think it's that Lamelo's not. I don't think it's that Lamelo's not good. I think it's that. I think people sell Lonzo short because he's not throwing... Well, not even true, actually. He is throwing lobs to Zach Levine, but he's just not the... I don't even mean this as an insult. He's not the showboat player. He's not a show-off player like Lamelo is. And when it comes to, like fan perception that stuff does have an impact Lonzo did have more pressure he had more pressure but he also never really bought into the antics Mel ain't as good as people think he's pretty good Zoe is slightly worse but not by much um Lamelo's pretty good like it's it's hard to almost average a triple double in the NBA regardless of your usage or your your opportunities or or all that stuff. Um, they're just they're very similar abilities with very different personalities. But yeah, I mean, like Lamelo is I I forget what his exact numbers are, but it's like twenty. 20 points, 8 assists, 7 rebounds or something like that. Like that's that's pretty crazy. Especially for like a 20-year-old. That's that's definitely not bad. And then Lonzo is like I mean his his numbers aren't the same, but LaMelo is playing with LaMelo Ball and Lonzo's playing under um Lonzo's playing under Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan and Nikola Vucevic. So, yeah, it, you know, there's a big difference in what your numbers are going to look like if you're the number number one option or if you're the number three or four option on a team. And I I do think that Lonzo, if he was in a position where his usage rate was like that. I think he would have a similar level of success. I think he's a very, very good player. I, I really, really like Lonzo. 
I think he's a tough matchup. I think the fact that he's fixed his janky ass shot has been incredible. And he's one of the best full court pressure defenders in the league. Very athletic, very good size. And he sees the floor. And he's unselfish. Like, that's the other thing. Lonzo, Lonzo's a very unselfish player. Lamelo's not even a top five point. I mean, so if you're saying he, he's not better than Anthony Edwards, uh, I'd argue that. He's got a much better skill set than Anthony Edwards. Take away Anthony Edwards' athleticism, and he's not an NBA player. Take away LaMelo's athleticism, and he still has a skill set to fall back on. Damn, CP the Doc is still not live. I'm sorry you have to settle with this stream then, Rajdeep. You want, me to, you want me to DM him and tell him that you're disappointed he's not live, or what? Favorite card today? You mean the favorite card that came out today, or just favorite card in the game today? Lamelo has more of a bag? Yeah. Yeah. And can shoot. What are you talking about? He would still be in the NBA. He's not as... He doesn't have as versatile a skill set as... Uh as Lamelo does. Ant's a very freakishly good athlete. Hit level 37 last night. I'm going to get Yao. Oh, yeah, you'll get Yao. Come, came out today. Stromile Swift, regardless of how good the other cards are. I've been pushing for a Stromile Swift card in, in 2K forever. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with... Uh, pretty happy with today. Um, but yeah, I mean, Anthony Edwards, again, he's better than I thought he was going to be. Anytime you see a guy in his, his post drafts interview saying shit like, I wanted to be a football player or like saying that he doesn't really love basketball like that. I was like, all right, not, not things you want to hear from the future of your franchise, but I mean, there's a difference between being arguably again, the best player on your team, like, like Anthony Edwards potentially is. I, Carl Anthony Towns is a better player, but there's a difference between that and being a seven seed. Like they've been doing better for sure. They're, they're finally turning it around. And Anthony Edwards is a huge part of that. But like, I don't know. I'd, I think the way that the Hornets have turned around with Miles Bridges and uh, and Lamelo helming everything has been probably more impressive. I don't know. Ants offensively putting the ball in so much better than Lamelo. Okay. I mean, I, I sure like you can have an opinion on it. Watched the 76ers game the other night against who? Which which game are you talking about? Weren't they in the high seed either, though? Yeah, but like they're both they're both seven seeds right now, and I think the ways that they've impacted their teams have been different. And that Lamelo's an all round threat, and Anthony Edwards is the good scorer. LaMelo has more of a skill set than Anthony Edwards does. But also, I mean, I guess you could argue that Miles Bridges, maybe, I, I had Miles Bridges as the, uh, the most improved player, but it might end up being uh, DeJounte this year. Um... I, there's probably only going to be one Hornets player as an all-star. I feel like LaMelo might make it. I think there's a few guys ahead of him still. But, I mean, 
Anthony Edwards is playing with a perennial all-star, which does make things easier because the focus isn't necessarily on him all the time. Grizzlies are amazing, man. None of them have the feel that Josh Primo has. Ant takes shots that are four feet away from the hoop. True. I think he's shooting a decent percent from three, though, actually. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I think that... I think they're both very good players. Like, pretty much all it is. They're just very different players. And I think that LaMelo at this stage is probably a more well-rounded player than uh, Anthony Edwards is. None of it matters, though, because Jokic is the best player in the world. P opinions on Tyrese Maxey? I think his trade value is huge. Um, and averages three threes a game? Yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, you can average three threes a game, but if you're three of ten every game, it's not good. So, I mean, that in itself doesn't mean anything, but it's the fact that he is shooting, like, 36-ish, 37%. Like, that's, it's league average or above, so, I mean... You can't complain with those results from a from a wing. And I think his free throw percentage went up this year too, so he's improving for sure. But again, these guys are both 20. Like they're not they're not who they're going to be. So comparing them at this stage isn't, you know. They both have very high ceilings. But they also might not continue to improve all that much. So it's going to come down to who who keeps working harder? Sports podcast would be fire. I, I would love to do one of those with like some of the guys in the old heads. And is a much better three-point shooter than LaMelo. Okay. So 36 and 35, that makes him a much better shooter. Like, I get that you're stuck in your opinion and you're not going to... So listen, if you're not going to change your mind, I'm not going to try and convince you, but... If, if you're refusing to change your opinion of it, you have to come up with better... Yeah, like, I, I don't care <laughs> if you think LaMelo is better than Ant or not, so that's that's fine. 36 isn't infinitely better than 35% from 3, so... If that's, if that's where the argument is going to end up, like... Yeah, Ant is shooting 36.6, LaMelo is shooting 35.7. So he's 0.9% better from three. I, apparently that makes him a much better shooter. So. Wow, meanwhile, LaMelo is shooting 88% at the line. That's elite. I test my guy's stats and everything. Says the guy who just said much better. Okay. I, yeah, I guess, I mean, my experience in playing in college and coaching and seeing guys go to the NBA, like that's, I just don't know the eye test, I get, I guess. If you don't start an NBA podcast at some point, I'm going to be highly disappointed in you. You have more NBA knowledge than half the people who make a li living on talking ball. I just pay, I, I read too much and I watch too much. I do think it would be a lot of fun to do something like that, though. Uh, grinding on my team as we speak. What's going on, Jeff? Jeff Rowe. Uh, Lunar Pack saying it today? Oh, there's definitely some good cards in them. Oh, that's right. I got two of the challenges done. Uh, we'll go... Con... Let's go with Kongwu. Speaking of a podcast, what's going on, Reaper? Got ASMR Reaper over here. Very high blocks. Okay, yeah, I feel like that'll be easy. This is live? Yeah, yeah. Pelicans fan. That's that's rough, though. Love Steven Adams. Although he went to the Grizzlies, so I guess, yeah, that doesn't even matter. 
Uh, Pelicans. Is there anyone? Is there anyone to cheer for on the Pelicans right now? They have not been fun to watch. Any of the games I've seen, like even in the close ones that they've had, they they are not. I like Nikhil Alexander Walker. I was actually really, I, I was not really. I was disappointed he didn't get a card from these. Um, I like Josh Hart. I'll never like Jonas Valanciunas because I watched him for way too long in Toronto. Um, Hernan Gomez, did he not get one either? Man. I really thought he was going to get something. Uh, Kyra Lewis, I kind of like him. Thinking about doing a podcast lately? That's cool. Debates will be good. You can have great hot takes and the Collins will be funny. They're good cards, but the odds are terrible. What uh, what other cards are in here? Because they must have like Marbury or something, right? All the other ones had other packs in them or other cards. Clay again. All right. I guess, yeah, China Clay. Jeremy Lin, Dwayne Wade, T-Mac. Interesting. Josh Smith, OJ Mayo, Dwayne Wade again, Stromile, Starberry, yep. Okay. The cards that are in here are a little underwhelming. T Mac is good, Clay is good, the cards that are new today are good. If it's not the 75th Dwayne Wade, then I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah. We need that in the future. I would fund it. I would do it. I would do it. I would want to do that with either Floki or between the threes. I would I would a hundred percent do a pot. If it was like me, Meech, between the threes, and then we just had like rotating either have uh like Professor, Floki, Sam. Brandon, Spatial, James. <laughs> Just get the old heads out here. Evo D. Wade or 75th. Yeah, but I'm not going to use either of them anyway, and I would rather have the 75th one just for the for the purposes of the lock-in. But yeah, AJ, it's not, it's not that I'm, like, discrediting your opinion on it. Like, you can say Anthony Edwards is the better player, sure. I just, from what I see, from what I watch, LaMelo has a more complete skill set right now. But again, they're both 20 years old. Why is, Marcus Star Why is Marcus Smart still so goaded? I got one 16K, four Hall of Fame badges. Damn. Don't forget CBW for his ass takes. 79 cards away, my oh my. I mean, yeah, you're going to have an easy time getting that up to probably 50 left, Reaper. Didn't think he was going to be an Opal. Thought he was a Diamond. He's going to be nice. You think might go down in the market soon? I mean, he's a 7-foot center with Hall of Fame quick first step and like a 93 ball. I don't know amount of topics to touch on and then have a call-in discussion phew Sheesh. it'd be a lot of fun i would really like to do that uh okongwu i need two more steals with brown okay you know what i'm actually gonna do this challenge because it's on rookie and I think I'll be able to get some easy steals. Yeka, still have like 10 city courts to get. All the new moments of the month. PD Amari, Coach Dennis today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll be good, man. So it sounds like, yeah, you're actually going to get that. Uh, that's crazy, man. You're actually going to get that card. All right. Who are we looking at here? Faku has to be done online. Trey Lyles is already done. Malik Miles is online. All right, so we'll just do that. Oh, I have to use I have to use Starberry anyway. Where you at, Starberry? Nets. I could have sworn he was here. 
plan this week. Maybe pushing that unless I call in a favor, which is my last resort. Yeah, I don't know how you, uh, I don't know how you swing these, these deals. Oh, he was, yeah, nets, what am I doing? That was just me being dumb right there. All right. So it's on pro, we should be able to get two steals. We should be able to honestly get all the blocks for the Kong one. I don't think it'll be that tough. But yeah, man, if you get that Gary Payton, that's that's crazy. I, I want that card real bad. I'm going to get uh, Paul Pierce today, though. Okay, Marbury just put him in the ring. Or in the rim. I got to get Jakar. Oh. That card is good, man. I'm not going to lie. Eddie... The AI on Rookie just stepped into a pull-up three with Eddie Curry and greened it. All right. Does anyone have D-Book and when you think you'll get him? Uh, I don't know. I started late because I had physio, so I'm definitely behind on it. Uh, I don't think anyone will have him by yet, by, by now, but people will have him today 100%. Ray Lyles has a nice behind the back and can actually dribble. Yeah, man, he's that card's actually good. I was pleasantly surprised to look at his stats. Okay, this Starberry is just not getting blocked. How many from Paul? I think I'm like four, like thirty away from uh, from Paul Pierce, so I can for sure get him today. Um, I have to do a lot of the uh, the city. Courts and stuff like that. Same with Reaper. Um, I have a lot of domination stuff left to do, so I can get him for sure. But I also can just buy enough cards that I got him. There'll be a bull bull type card for that challenge. Key to key. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Booker today, as well. I don't think it'll be that tough, to be honest. Oh, that's gonna go in. Damn, I thought these guys would be easy to bait into getting blocked, but I guess not. Now to get into a party party maybe tomorrow? Yeah, I should should be able to. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I work, but I'd be able to after. All right, come on. I just need steals. He's literally putting the ball in my hand. Give me that. All right, perfect. The job do you do? Uh, right now, the job that I have to leave the house for is working at a gym. But hopefully coaching picks up again soon and we can play basketball and do all the fun stuff that I actually like. Which isn't to say I don't even... Uh, that's not to say I don't like my gym job. It's just boring. Like, it's not, you know... It's not as fulfilling as... Oh, or even refing basketball. Refing's fun, too. Bro, this Marberry just waxed me. Alright, let's just go into a triple threat game. I really want this Gus Williams. Ooh, they put the Lunar Ball in the vault. It's probably on the drop boards too. That's smart. Hmm. 
saying yet. Do you like the Toronto Raptors? I don't not like them, but I'm not like a Raptors fan. I just I just live nearby. Um, I honestly just haven't been a big Raptors fan since since Vince Carter, since like that era. Um, because I did not like Vince Carter. Yeah, I still don't like Vince Carter. Um, then they drafted Bargnani. I had never liked Chris Bosh. I've just never been a big fan of their franchise player until DeRozan. Um, and obviously, like, I, I like Kawhi a lot, but I liked him in San Antonio, so. Alright, let's see if we can get a handful of blocks here. Ooh, well, not the guy I wanted to get blocks with. Maple Leafs? Ooh. I just don't watch hockey. <laughs> like, if I'm being honest, it's not it's not my thing. Onyeka, I need you to block some shots, my guy. Favorite team in the NBA? My my franchise that I root for is the Celtics, but they are absolutely not my favorite team right now. I don't enjoy watching their games. I don't particularly love Jason Tatum. He's obviously a good player. I like I've liked Jalen Brown more their whole careers. Um Yeah, I'm not I'm not I don't know. Right now my favorite my favorite team in the NBA right now is the Grizzlies. I just think that they play their asses off and they they're good, man. Like they they work hard. They have exciting good players. They have a few Canadian guys which I like. Um, between Dylan Brooks and Brandon Clark, so that's always cool. Um, I absolutely hate the Lakers. But yeah, the I, I've I've said this all year. The best four teams to watch are Bulls, Hornets, Warriors, Grizzlies. Right now, Clay coming back was like one of my favorite things to happen in basketball in a long time. That game, I was fired the fuck up the entire time. And Gary Payton, too, is like... I'm legitimately considering getting a Gary Payton 2 jersey. Watch it, bucko. I just... I Again, as like... As a big Celtics fan... Hella new here at the Hell's Mooka Cam. So, it's a camera... That has my dog, whose name is Mookie, on it. That thing right up there... That's a dog. Holy shit, it took you long enough on Yekka. Thank you. But yeah, man, I've been a Celtics fan for over a decade. Almost two decades. I, I grew up, you know, not during the peak of the Celtics Lakers rivalry, because that would have been that would have been Magic Bird, but close enough to it. And then during the Pierce, Kobe, like during that era. So, not to mention, the, my biggest problem with Laker, the Lakers is Lakers fans. But I don't mean that as a boilerplate, like all Lakers fans. I just mean the people I grew up with who said they were Lakers fans, but all they did was buy Kobe jerseys because he was the most popular player at the time. Um, where it's like, oh, you don't know shit about basketball. You're just a bandwagon guy who sees ESPN talking about the Lakers and thinks, oh, okay, yeah, this is what I should do to seem like I fit in. So, yeah. It's, it, the Lakers just, there, there's a lot of different reasons that I have for not liking that franchise, just as a whole.
And don't get me wrong, I know that online, especially now, some people make Celtics fans all look like dicks. So, it's not like I'm oblivious to that, but... It's what I grew up with, it was the experiences that I had, so I, I have formed my opinions off of that. Hmm. Alright, we got an all caps here. Love the Raptors. People say I'm a bandwagon fan, been a fan since 2014 and I'm 12. So you've been a fan since you were five or six years old? That's fair. Also, I don't think they're really a popular team to root for right now. Because they're pretty bad. 19 years later and Brock Lesnar is still out here winning Royal Rumbles. What a man. Uh, because of course he is. Wait, wasn't he in a separate match too? I didn't. I didn't end up getting to check it out, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, my thoughts on the Wolves though. Which team had the bit worst bandwagon fans? Um, either the Lakers or the Heat. It's really hard to. I don't want to say the Heat just because of recency bias. Because that was, that was more recent. I don't think Warriors bandwagon fans were that bad. Um, by comparison, they were still not great. But I'd say Miami fans because no one was cheering for my... Like, Miami had so few fans outside of Florida. That when that all came around and the whole Heatles thing, like... I don't know. I'd say I'd say Miami and LA are are the two worst ones. Standing title against Lashley, Roman, and Heyman screwed him out of the title, so he entered the Rumble at thirty and won, so he can fight Roman and Mania. That sounds like really sloppy booking. I'm not gonna lie, that that doesn't that didn't sound great. Troy Brown killed it. Onyeka got three blocks. That's not bad. Um, the Warriors, I mean, I, like, I was fed up with the Celtics back when, uh, actually, back when they traded Perkins, because Danny Ainge shipped off Perkins, who was Rondo's best friend, and it's like, alright, you know you have an enigmatic, kind of moody point guard, things aren't going great right now, and your solution is to send away his best friend. Maybe not the best move. Um, and they started just kind of blowing it up. They traded away Pierce and Garnett. They did this huge rebuilding thing. They they put Ray Allen on the trading block every year, so he eventually left. Um, I hated Ray at the time for leaving, and especially for going to Miami. But I I totally get why he did it. Um. Yeah, I mean, it, it eventually came down to, I already really liked Steph. Clay has been my favorite player in the NBA for almost his entire career. Um, they picked up Iguodala, who's one of my favorite players of all time as well. They had Sean Livingston, who I always liked. They had David Lee at the time, uh, I think right before Iguodala. So they just had a lot of guys come through where I was just like, man, the Warriors are just a really fun team to, to root for. I liked Harrison Barnes. Um, they had, what was it at the time? They had like Andrews Beadrins and some other guys like that. But yeah, they were just a team that was, that was easy to want to win. Mieka, two blocks. All right, so... I still need to get these. Much time. Okay, most of these require extra stuff, so I don't think I need to do... I don't need to do any more triple threat. So I can do two blocks. And we'll get 24 and 5 with AO. 
Didn't know anything about Mullen or even Baron Davis. Not all, but it was common. Yeah. I don't I don't mind. I don't mind the Warriors fans as much. Hey Bulls fans, they say they're good right now. Like you realize your team was not good since Rose left. Uh Alright. Bulls are pretty good right now. I think Booker's good. I wanted Jokic or Harden, but I think it's Friday's drop. Yeah, I mean, if for Jokic not to be included in moments of the month, it means he's getting a good card soon. That was already, like, in the works, and then he's been playing out of his mind. Same thing, I think, with DeJounte Murray. I think we're going to get a diamond or pink diamond DeJounte Murray soon, and then Opal Jokic probably Friday. But if not, soon. Okay, 24 and 5. I'm going to try and get these done in the same game. We'll see how this goes. Uh, we all get Dirk and Harden on Friday like last year, imagine. That'd be interesting. They're dropping a new Jokic. They need to change his jumper. Uh, I mean, it looks like his jumper. He has a high kind of slingshotty release. He's going to have amazing rebounding and passing, and he's going to have a high enough three ball. They can maybe make it a little quicker, but keep the animation the same. Kennard, 25 and 6. Hmm. They're going to change his jumper to Isaac Bonga. Flash five, what? Oh, topper, nice. Very nice, Corey. All right, where's the challenge at? Let's do at least. Oh, those all have specific players in it. 21 points. That's what he had last year on his opal. Yeah, that was his invincible card, though, wasn't it? Who do you think it's gonna be? Ah, uh, I forget who the choices are. Um, Embiid. It's gonna be Embiid. Is there no sixty-point triple doubles in here, or? Okay, here. Two Mavericks, though. Fuck. Jordan, eh? Not bad, man. So far, I got Triple J and Fred because I'm a Raptors fan. Fair. I'm, I'm glad Freddie Van Vliet. I was right on that one. If he hadn't gotten one, that would have sucked. I need these two blocks with Okongwu. Okay, maybe we can do this. We'll go... We'll get Okongwu. We're done with Troy. We'll throw Sven. And we'll get Kennard done. We'll get the Nard dog. Or did I not get Canard? Did I who did I leave somebody? Trey Troy Oh, I might not have even gotten the card. Okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah, so we'll get we'll get Io out here then. This is gonna be tough. I don't know if I can get five rebounds with Io in this, but I'll try it. Probably didn't get a moment when he dropped the triple double because now he's doing pretty bad. 
Jared Vanderbilt the budget Mo Lucas. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, no, Freddie had a great, a great stretch though. He had a great month. He's been, he's been so crucial in that team doing what they've been doing. How is that not a block on Yeka? Come on, buddy. Probably going like 620 in the past couple games. Yeah, he's taken, he's shooting, I think it's like over 12 threes a game for the month of January, which is crazy. He hit like five and a half, though. There we go, Io. He's got a fast release. No elevation on it, but. What's up? What's going on, Big Giant? Wow. That's very fast. Not a bad release at all. But yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, I think the Raptors are, are looking up a little bit. Scotty Barnes is great. Pascal finally got his fucking head out of his ass. Oh, Onyeka, please be better. Dude. Iowa has a good rebound. Or a good, sorry, a good uh, release. It's weird, but it's good. Very, very, very fast. Goaltending, you dick. Hopefully Scotty's working the year, but Mobley's doing amazing. I would have Mobley... Uh, Mobley and Cade, unfortunately, are probably both ahead of him right now. Um, I agree that I think Scotty has had a better year than Cade, but Cade has more hype around him. I also think Franz Wagner is fantastic. Dude, Onyeka, please get a block there. Yes, we have a nice stream. Thank you, Aku. I appreciate that. Cade's team isn't doing good, though. Uh, team success almost never has anything to do with the Rookie of the Year. That's really more of a more of an MVP weight. Man, what's good? Just started the grind, got back early from work. All right, cool, man. Which uh, which of these cards are you most excited to try out? Mobley in the lead for rookie of the year. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's any debate that he's the best rookie. At least right like right now. Guy doesn't make mistakes. Plays really well on both ends. Like the, there, there is no ceiling on that guy. Jaron Jackson, not gonna lie, looks very damn good. Yep, yeah, that card's probably gonna be fun, man. I mean, Jaron Jackson's always good in two K, so I'd be surprised if this one wasn't. Booker's not making my lineup, but it's collector level. Fair. I think Booker will probably make my lineup when it's all said and done, but nah, actually maybe he doesn't. Green guards are Kazzy and Joe. Yeah, I got Reggie and Kazzy. I also have Igudala, so yeah. I mean Booker I also just am not really a Booker fan, so decent chance that he doesn't make my team. Well, Chris has to save MP and got Jaron Jackson. Not a bad idea. Dude, silly guess missing his free throws. Yeah, that's always a problem, but... Keep in mind, Mowgli's also getting used to his body. He's he's going to make mistakes. He's a rookie. He's also one of the best defensive players in the NBA already. As basically a kid. So, that's impressive. Look at my team's other hero comes out. 
Fair. Actually, yeah, Tyler Hero was one of the cards that I had predicted was going to come out today, but did not end up happening. Taking Chris and Kazzy, yep. Bro. Onyeka, I really need you to make that, buddy. Hmm. The CP3. That's not terrible. You got a, you got an opal. Need a Cade Cunningham, but they didn't give us one today, sadly. Yeah. I did, like I said, I did kind of think. Oh, you got a hollow. All right. Getting a hollow is pretty solid. People always pay extra for that. Hmm. Hollow 75th, yeah man, that'll sell for something. take first uh i took trey lyles but honestly like with how quickly these challenges go it's not gonna matter a ton <laughs> 29 offensive 51 defensive those are not great rebounding stats it's not gonna be too bad though you just put him in a challenge against some garbage cards you'll be fine the pro kevin durant one or no i guess you gotta get 35 points so yeah definitely not ideal Hard to do with steals. It didn't take me too long to do his, but. I, I, I don't mind him. God damn it. Troy Brown's definitely a good card, though. There's a lot of these cards are are good, and they're going to be fun. Not to mention they'll be super useful for some of the challenges you got to do. Is that a block? Please tell me. Goes for 93.5? Yeah, but if he's a hollow, people will pay for that. Ao has three rebounds. He needs two more. I go drop. It went in and rolled out. Yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. was very fast, man. Let's put him up for bid. Yep. If you're planning on selling him, I think that's the best call. Oh, air ball. Gee. Thoughts on the season overall? Uh, I think it's been fire overlooking the content. Yeah, man. I, I, it's we've had so much great free stuff. Like this, this season has been real good. Thirty-five k right now. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you feel like you'd rather. Sell the card, then use it, and then absolutely, I'd put it up for a bid. See what you can get. You'll at least get up above 100k. <sighs> I gotta make sure I got two blocks with Anyeka. I have no blocks with Anyeka. I have three blocks with Ao. God damn. Okay, I gotta not make these shots. But yeah, man, this season's been fantastic. 
Onyeka is literally just getting postered. Messed around and got Gus Williams off a of triple threat. There you go. That is definitely some good news. Congratulations, man. You got to let me know how that card is. He looks fun as hell. I'm sorry. Did that just happen? Okay, was that... That was on Yek or that was AO again. God damn it. What aim did you go with? I took AO first, I think. Or no, I took Malik Monk first, but I haven't used him yet. Thank you. Please tell me that was fucking on Yekka. I forgot this was a 60 point challenge, that's why I was trying to avoid making those shots, but then Sven Nader bangs a three. Well, they probably had done everything, had everything done before the games last night, but Desmond Bain or Maxi could have got a card for their games last night. Maxi with 33 and 8 and 4 blocks. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And Bain already has uh, an Amethyst Moments card, so I don't know if they want to repeat those too much. All right. One more rebound for AO. Pro. Please tell me that was on Yekka. Please tell Okay, that was on Yekka. I don't care what else the game says. One rebound. Trail Lyle's challenge might be the easiest out of them all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's easy. Didn't realize how strong he is, but I watched a bunch of Grizz games and Desmond is ripped. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, Darren Williams is... It's funny you say that. I was literally talking to someone last night about how much he remind, about, about how his build reminds me of Darren Williams. I just greened a moving three with Sven Nader. I guess... No, this is on pro. It's not even on... All right, whatever. All right. I want a Carmelo Diamond, PD Opal. I don't care. I don't know. Uh, Yeah, I want, like, a budget Carmelo. Not me, but I think people would would like that. Pick Luke over Trey Lyles. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. You'll have all the challenges done soon enough anyway. There we go. There's assist number five. Okay, Anyaka has three blocks. All right, so we're going to just end this game. Luke's a budget beast. The problem is he can't get clamps, can't really play defense, but his shooting, yeah, shooting is fantastic. Twenty-five point six assists. Yes, yes, it is. There we go. <sighs>
I think the All-Star players are getting Dark Matters in 2K. Uh, I hope they don't get Dark Matters this early in the year. All right, Sven Nader is a three-point god, apparently. <clears throat> there we go. Triple threat game took me about two minutes. Yep. Yeah, getting those rebounds with... Uh, that was probably the wrong challenge to try and do that in, but... Whatever. We got our 24 and 5 with AO. We got all five blocks with Okongwu. All right. Not feeling upset about that one. So we got two challenges done here. So we're going to be able to get a diamond and a another amethyst. <clears throat> oh, and we got the other one done. So we're going to get three cards out of this. I got to take... I got to take Miles Bridges because he's my favorite of these guys. He's he's fantastic. At the only the only fully evoed Wade in the market for 94k will he sell. He should, man. What do you think of Darius Garland? He's the pink diamond that I probably want the most. What Amy did you pick? I have taken uh, Ao and uh, Malik Monk. Now I'm going to take Jared Vanderbilt. And I believe, yeah. So now we'll pick up Luke Kennard. There we go. All right. So we have all the rubies. Cool, cool, cool. We have 25 cards left to get Paul Pierce. I just got to grab a drink real quick because my throat is very dry. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Sorry, moves. It is six assists for Luke, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Love him. Did they fix beyond level 40 or is there still 20 steps to do? No, they'll do progressively. Maybe there's a glitch or something earlier. All right, so we'll do Campazo.
Vanderbilt needs how many rebounds? 19. And Malik needs eight threes. All right. There, I was getting a little tired. Oh, yeah, I just, I had a long day yesterday. I didn't sleep well. But I'm good. I don't know how I'm going to get these boards with AM. Um, I, I somehow got them, even though I was using Onyeka and Sven, so. That's not that bad. Uh, Vanderbilt, where you at? <clears throat> there you go. Mr. Campazzo. And Mr. Monk. I want to see how all three of these cards play. We go to bed until 4 in the morning? Yep, I feel that. What challenge do I do for AO? Any of the triple threat ones are good. Like the, the spotlight ones, they're all good. Out of bounds, all right. Off to a good start. It's a bit slower than I thought Malik's release would be. Very early, okay. Oh, come on. go thank you Malik I know I didn't get the assist there but that's all right they will be free in the paint yep that makes sense to me wow I'm actually kind of surprised I went in even though it was just Faku oh I didn't get the other assist either I don't know about that one There we go. AO is 24 and 5. Luke is 25 and 6. Yep. Ooh. 
damn. Okay. Vanderbilt's solid. <clears throat> we like that card. I like Malik's release. It's super easy. It's just, it's a, it could be faster for sure. Is that the, not bad though? What's Vanderbilt's challenge? Uh, you gotta get 19 rebounds in multiplayer games. So far, 12 out of 25. There you go. So I need 14 rebounds, 9 assists, 3 threes. Hmm. I'm just doing all the multiplayer ones in PTO. I don't care if I win or lose these games. Uh, maybe I should just because it's free ball drops. Eh. Eh. It's not that crazy of a grind? No, it's really not that bad, man. And his name is John C. Ooh, Kyrie, Brooke, and Tatum. This guy has a slightly better team than I do. Guys, that concerned with off balling? Alright. <laughs> this is out of John Cena card to 2K. It'll be the most overpowered card in the game because the opponent won't be able to see him. I never heard that joke before. Now, it'd be interesting if they did that in, like, <clears throat> um, what's it called? Is this dude really that afraid of just playing on ball? Dude, Baku has a great shot. This guy, uh, I kind of want to just try and win this game, because this guy has a really good team for this, but he himself is bad. Oh, damn. I was hoping with the Circus 3s there I might be alright. Really? Kyrie Irving. Yep. So I, I always forget. Kyrie Irving has the best AI defense in the entire game. I don't know what it is, but he blocks Yao. He strips Chris Paul. But only the AI. Dude, Faku, what are you doing? I don't know why they don't Charles Bark in the game. He's in the NBA 75 and doesn't even have a card. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, if they don't have his individual rights to use his likeness in the game, then there's a good chance that they can't use his likeness for money. So, that's that's basically the end of the conversation there. Dude, this guy is off-balling so hard. Oh, one sec. The vet is calling.
I got to book uh, a vaccination for the mooks. This guy is off falling exclusive. Like, it's so funny when you can literally just sit there and watch a guy. Bro, you're flash pausing? Really? Is this your first win? What the fuck is this guy doing? This guy's flash pause. It. Like, look here, here. I'll do a possession where he won't. He won't even try and touch on ball. Yeah, good stuff, buddy. Oh, is he on balling? When's he gonna switch? What an idiot. Why are you flash pausing? Look at your team, buddy. Do you not understand what's going on? Yep, let me zigzag for a while. Yep. Sorry that you got clamped up by a ruby card, dude. What a weirdo. I think they'll bring Dark Matters in for the All-Stars, because how can they make Garland better as an Opal? What? So he's a pink diamond. If you're asking how they'll make him better as an opal, his badges will go up, and some of his stats will go up. This guy's literally just off-balling like crazy. Um, what about LeBron and Curry, who also have good opals already? They don't give out just like a full all-star lineup of cards and if they just make everyone a dark matter like that would be ridiculous for february to be like all right february let's give you dark matter Giannis, lebron curry durant like i guess we're just in the end game and then we have nowhere we can go until september like i don't know man to have seven months of only Dark Matters being relevant, that would be pretty terrible. So I really hope they don't do that. They typically also only go all uh, cards for the All-Star Game MVP, winner of the dunk contest, three-point shootout, skills contest, and... Whatever else there was, I thought there was a new event or something. I kind of feel like I should try to win these last couple games just to see if I can get Dan Issel, but I don't really care all that much. Oh, same guy. All right. Gang in here, XX. You might get him? Yeah, that's fine. Can Jared Vanderbilt shoot? Three point is a C. Look at, look at. Look at his AI play defense. That's fine. Of course he makes an early covered. Yeah. Okay. 
very early. I don't know about that shit. I also don't think that was covered, but whatever. Yeah. Fine. Real dude, that's twenty percent cut. Like, okay. Sometimes this game just makes up what it wants to do. Just yeah, we'll give you a contest, even though you're on the opposite side of the court. That's fine. I think D books top tier. I haven't used him yet, so I couldn't tell you. But based on the stats and everything on paper, he looks like a very very good card. You gotta spam that pick and roll, man. You wouldn't you wouldn't wanna actually, you know, do anything. Oh my god. You guys are so bad at the game, man. Thank you, Faku. Let's go. Bro, I'm literally in the lane, but it doesn't matter because he doesn't have to green to, to make his shots. Bro, his AI really just 180 to steal that. And then I'm controlling him and he... Okay, whatever. The bird is so good. Jumper's chicken. Really? I hate that saying, but that's that's good that Lavert is good. Think you can do Garland in the 60-point challenge? Uh, I don't know what his challenges are. Ooh, Vanderbilt's shot is a little busted. Oh, come on now. Twenty-seven points, eighteen assists. Uh, that would add up to sixty-three points. Um, so if it's possible, it would definitely be tough. I'm just curious, why? Why is it you think flash pausing when you're running around off balling and pick and roll spamming with a team that is very clearly a thousand times better than the one I'm using when I'm obviously just doing challenges is a necessary thing? I get you don't win much, but what is what does the flash pause do for you? All right, you want to play me with equal teams and see what happens? No? Okay, wow, you ran away quick from that one. Damn, man, cuz I can't I can't go ahead with Faku Campazo, Malik Monk, and Jared Vanderbilt, and beat the off ball of Jason Tatum, Brooke Lopez, and Kyrie Irving. That's crazy. So, do you want to play or no? God damn, you're that afraid. Jesus Christ. That's that fake confidence for you. Oh, there's a running away. You gotta hide and play that off ball. Oh, better switch. There you go. There's the switch. Good stuff. Hey, good defense, man. Look at you go. Oh, better off ball. Better off ball. There you go. Good stuff, buddy. Killing it. Thanks for letting me get two of my challenges done during this game, you fucking bum. Yeah, kick it out. There you go. There you go. Run away. Again! Look at you! Look at you pausing! You're that afraid of playing me. God damn. Alright, man. Enjoy being a bitch the rest of your life.
These fucking kids, man. That's fine. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get Dan Issel anyway. <clears throat> this one's tough until you just say, "All right, cool. Let's play with equal teams." It's insane that I can still lose a game. But I hate the complaining about the 100. Like I get it was tough, but. Uh, who do we want to grab here? You're saying Karis Levert's really nice, so let's pick him up. Cool, cool, cool. Who did we get? Who's did we finish? We finished... We finished Monk. Okay. So then we still got... Seven assists with Compazzo. Ten rebounds with Vanderbilt. And... Levert. Where's Levert at? Points. 30 points in clutch time. Okay, that's not bad. Your first PD. Hey, there you go. Gary Trent. Oh, I gotta actually use Gary Trent in online. Do I have a dime? Oh, I do have a couple diamonds. Who else did I get? Oh, I got uh, I got Miles Bridges. Okay, 38 points, 12 rebounds. I want to do that. <clears throat> What's Davis's challenge? Uh, 35 and 6 in a single game. So Miles, I got to go 38 and 12. <clears throat> Okay. 38 and 12. And that would be 63. So I don't think I can get them done in the same game. That's too bad. Because that would be 63. Yeah, I can't make that math work. Ah, 38 and 12 is fine. <clears throat> um, yeah, all right. No, not a pickup challenge. <clears throat> 38 and 12, okay. So we gotta throw... Miles Bridges. There you are. We gotta throw... Uh, Tim Legler. There you are. And shooting guard, doesn't really matter who we use here. Let's go... Uh, we'll just throw Marcus Smart in here. All right, 38 and 12. Eighteen assists, twenty-seven points in one game. Yep, that's a pretty good stat line. Miles Bridges has such a nice shot. Ah. Damn. 
Garland is so good. Yeah, he has, he has Dame's release. Like I like I said, man, the Amethyst is really good. His Series 1 card is really good. This Miles Bridges might have a spot on my team somewhere. I, I love his cards. We gotta start getting, we gotta start getting rebounds, Miles. Come on, buddy. Back to school. Good. Hey, what's going on, Vertical? Was Tatum a long grind? No, not really. I didn't have any problems with it, really. Dude, Miles Bridges. What are his shooting stats? Cause like, I I know his release. But oh, 89 three ball, it seems like it's higher than that because he's just slapping these. All right, what kind of dunks? Eh, a little step back, not very fast though. Man, they don't miss. Oh, his defense is bad. That's too bad. I would have liked to use his Miles Bridges, but his defensive stats are pretty bad. This is not the worst if you're not really planning on... Eh, I don't know. Offense is fantastic. Like, with a coach and a shoe, get him up to speed boosting. Obviously, dunking is going to be ridiculous. His shot's incredible, but man, that uh, rebounding's really good, actually. But the defense is just tough. That's, yeah. Oh my god. New moments of the month. Yes, sir. We got a Jared Sullinger. We did. We got a Sully. Uh, I think it'll be 200k. I think Yi will be 200k or under. Not today, I wouldn't think, because like I said, man, I mean, aside from Jokic, he's kind of the only center eligible card that can do a lot of stuff. <clears throat> so, I can see his price staying up for a little bit. Like, he's a 7-footer with 83 speed, 86 ball handle, Hall of Fame downhill, quick first step. He comes with gold range, like he he kinda has everything. I think does he come with clamps? Doesn't come with clamps, but he can get clamps. Uh comes with rebound chaser, intimidator, interceptor. Like it's a pretty ridiculous card. So I don't I don't know man. I think his price is gonna go up a little bit. I, I think he's gonna stay pretty expensive. <clears throat> I'm sorta of tempted to see if I can snipe one right now. Like on a bid. Miles Bridges is unbelievable. Triple down and playing Opal Allen Iverson with Darius Garland. This will be fun. Yeah. Be a good matchup for him. Let you get a feel for where he's at. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta get six more rebounds with Miles. We got a comfortable lead here, so I'm not in any danger of losing.
God damn it. Come on. One sec, phone call.
Jesus. Sorry about that, guys. I know that took a while. I, I was just on a very important phone call. Um, I might be moving. Did you get the disco ball yet? Uh, it's not available as far as I know. Amy Miles Bridge is still a beast? Absolutely he is. Oh, shit. One sec. Um, yeah, so I might, uh, I may apparently be moving soon, because there's, uh, some pretty insane stuff going on. Pazo, aka the GOAT, is my new starting point guard. Diamond contract. Oh, don't throw a diamond contract on a ruby reward card. Come on now. His Mo Bombos. I mean, his badges are pretty meh. His, some of his stats are kind of eh. But he's hitting shots and he's blocking. So... I don't know, he might actually not be as bad as I thought he was. I, I honestly thought that this Mobamba was going to be the worst card coming out. What's happening? I mean, what can you share publicly? So, there's potential. Uh, potential for me to be moving and be working full time with a prep school. Uh, that has like three guys that are going to end up in the league. 
So I'd be coaching with them, doing some skill development and uh, shooting, but I might be running, like, I, I, I'll, I'd be the lead assistant on, or at least an assistant on, uh, on like, the main team, and then I might be able to head coach, like, the junior team or something like that in a program that looks insane. It's, it's, it's possible. It would be a big move. It would be a big step for, for me, but, uh, yeah, potential to, to be in early on a lot of guys that look like they're going to be going somewhere far with basketball, to say the very least. That'd be pretty fun, because I like basketball. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but the disco ball's not available yet, right? Mr. Bamba. Last night I would play PlayStation 4. Friend played since 2K20, went on a 20 game winning streak in the park. That's sick, man. Got a fade Shadow Legends ad on your channel? Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, do they count for card collecting? Whoa, now. Since Fade is in my shadow. Primo, you're the... You're the man. Let's take... Who's is tougher? I need Gary Trent Jr. We'll do that. I only need 16 cards for Pierce. I'm checking out these uh I'm checking out these basketball cards. See how cheap I can grab one. I probably should have tried to get a Yi Lan, but 
not that big. 11,000 is too much. 10,000 is too much. I'm not doing that. And yeah, 10,000 is too much for that. Yeah, I mean, there's 12. Yeah, it's basically a Zodiac, so. I got Year of the Tiger, which is what this year is. That's kind of cool. Year of the Rabbit. Uh, 89,950 isn't bad, but... I don't think you can search for these on the auction house normally. But I think you do have to go in and search each each basketball individually. I should double check that before I say anything. Yeah, so you can't just look event cards. I don't think I can look for basketball cards that I don't have. Oh, I can. Okay, thank God. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be a slow crawl like that, but we'll get a couple of these on the cheap, so that's good. So we are going to snipe a couple of these. I know the price is going to come down, but... If I can get one under 7k, I'll probably buy it. Oh, don't do me like that. Come on. Here we go. That's so much MT for a basketball. Like, I really don't want to pay that. Especially because I'm going to lock them. Oh, come on. Don't do me like that. Yeah, what's going on, Steven? What's up is just trying to get some of these event cards. Right now, they are disappearing from the filter. So that's kind of irritating. Oh, God. We had to go 15. Yeah. That sucks. I'll buy that one. It's a lot, but I do want these cards. And I got to double check to make sure they do add to my collector count. 14. I think it was at 14 before. So I don't think that added to my count. I'm gonna double I'm gonna double check this. <clears throat> Great content added today, just got home from work, very happy to see. Yeah man, it's it's a lot of good free cards. And the challenges for them aren't very difficult. Uh, I'm going to buy this one for 7k. That's way too much. I do want to see if it... Because I'm pretty sure it didn't bump up my card collector level. So we'll we'll see. 
Oh, it did. Well, hmm. Not draft. Um, I do kind of want to just win this game to make sure I get it. Because it is the last, it's the last board, so I may as well do that. Yeah, unfortunately this guy is doing some challenges. Oh my god, I missed it. I'll let him shoot with Gary Trent. That's not on me, you just missed that. I realized I didn't even look at Booker's uh, stats. He has Hall of Fame clamps? Excuse me? What? Alright, well, never mind. I guess Booker is going to be really good. I was not expecting to see that. Unstrippable? That's not a bad badge to have. Wow, dude. Booker might be really good. Hi, that's cool. What's good? What's going on, Austin? I was in Canada. Still some crazy code rules over there. Yeah, we had restrictions opened up yesterday. So we have some more freedom than we did. Um, it's still not ideal by any means, but... It's slowly, slowly, slowly getting better. And yeah, Booker... Uh, yeah, I didn't look at his stuff before. Alright. Some more chances at these. This actually, like, just for the basketballs or the, the lunar packs, like, this PTO might be worth playing today. Because if you can make, you know, if you can get a pack, it's like an easy 6k. Definitely not bad. If you can get a pack. Which does not appear to be the case for me. <sighs> Got wings last night for my birthday dinner, and this might be the greatest after school snack ever. Leftover wings are good, man. Oh. My body hurts. Side question here. Uh, I bought Red Dead Redemption 2 
uh, last night because it was on sale. Would you guys be interested if I were to do that, like, either here or on Twitch, just to fuck around and check that game out a little bit? Wow, Larry is that expensive. That'd be dope. Yeah, I might have to do it. I think I would have fun doing it. Very good game, very lengthy. Ah, I don't mind that. I think it'd still be... It'd be fun. Crazy hours needed? Ah, it's, it's kind of my thing. I'm the guy that puts a stupid amount of hours into things. Played the first five or so hours of that game. Yeah, I, I think I might want to do that. Because I figure if I'm going to be putting the time in and playing it, it would be more fun to enjoy it kind of with you guys. It's, it's genuinely now, like, if I'm thinking about playing a game, I'm like, oh, I want to do it on the stream. Just because that way it's like a, I don't know, it's like a shared experience. It's more fun, honestly. 3K, I'll do that. Durant is probably not going to be very... Mm, 65. I mean, I kind of expected him to be more, but that's that's still a bit for me. We got Big Z, 6K. I'll throw a bid on this one. Kevin McHale. You should be cheaper because this card is bad. Eh. This Odom card was so bad with the old release. Bam. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> At this point, I just want to get these cards. Carl Anthony Towns is rare for some reason. The regular Blake Griffin is rare. LeBron is not very rare, but still way more expensive than I have any interest in paying. None of the other event cards counted, so not a surprise that the balls don't. No, they do. They do. These, uh... When I went and double-checked, it looked like they counted towards the collection. Bargs. Draymond. Go. Signature series. Don't. Like for me, I sent the year of the pig ball out of my collection. That's weird, because I did. I Maybe only some of them do or something? I don't know, because I bought a couple. And I don't think the one did, but then the one I bought after that definitely counted, so I, I'm confused. Dwayne Wade. Oh, yeah, this Dwayne Wade will be cheap. Th 
38. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go to for wings has a sauce called hawk sauce, garlic parm, barbecue, buffalo, and ranch mixed into one. That doesn't sound bad. That sounds like a sauce I would eat. Fifty-three for Draymond. Alright. Alright, let's add these guys in. I only need seven cards, man. No, it did change. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's only like a couple of them actually make a change to it or something. I, I, it threw me off for sure, too. Thirteen thirty or thirteen three, I can check. Maybe it takes a minute, maybe. Still got the court floors, you can get those done. Yeah. I know, but those all basically the ones that I have left, they all pretty much require a full game. And I'm gonna do them, but I'm not in any Not in any, like, hurry to spend half an hour for one card at this point. Like, I still have to do those games, but the longer I can put it off, <laughs> the more I will. Ooh, can I scan this like this now? Yep. Okay, 12,000. Can I get 11,000? Oh, I can. Okay, that's far better. Okay, what's the minimum I can go to here? Hmm. We do get Yogesh this weekend. There's a fairly good chance he doesn't have Interceptor or Hyperdrive, so I could buy one, throw those on, and make 100k or so, probably. probably. Yeah. I'd, I'd think about that much, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Let me get some of these on a snipe. Give me some cheap fucking basketballs here. And yeah, I know what you mean with the heat checks. I kind of thought, oh, I'll cash out. I got a ton of mine for, for a thousand or less. I mean, even if I resell them right now, it's uh, I'll still make profit. But I do kind of want to wait for like, oh, I need, you know, you need 10 heat checks from this team to do a challenge. And then it's like, all right, these all shot up in value. <sighs> ah, shit, there was one for 65. Might be here. No. I think someone snatched that one up. Yeah. Eh, this might not be the most lucrative way to spend my time. A 
Okay, Vanderbilt needs it. And... GTJ... Ugh. Needs it. Who else do I have to use? <sighs> uh, I don't really want to use Nurkic just because I don't want to have them double up. I want to get Gary. It'll be fun to have when I can get him and I hardly ever see him in the streets. Yeah, I, I want to get Gary Payton while he's still good. You know what I mean? Let's just throw these guys out there. Guy's gonna do a lot of uh, zigzagging, it looks like. Oh. Heavy with the off ball. <clears throat> Gary, we need 33 points from you, buddy. Oh, his release is so slow. What? Oh my god, dude. It's... This is why I hate triple threat. God damn it. Hey, Mooks. Oh my god. There we go. Dude, this Gary Trent shot is awful. Literally only there. There you go. Finally, holy shit! Awful though. Oh, get there, you fucker. I need that rebound. Come on, Vanderbilt. Well, it's ugly, but it went in. Oh, 
Oof. Fair enough. Oh, come on. There you go. This guy flash paused three times now. Okay, this Gary Trent card is not very good. Loses the ball very easily. Yep. Just keep dribble spamming, you'll get open eventually. Oh my god. Oh my god, yep. Run out to the three. Jeez. Thank you. Fair enough. Mm, God damn it. Well, I hate to do this, but I have another call coming in, and I just feel like it's not enjoyable to watch me keep answering the phone. So I think what I'm going to do is go take care of this stuff, and then I'm going to stream after basketball. So like 8.30 p.m. my time, about four and a half hours, we're going to get Booker. We're going to redeem um opal paul pierce and then i have this lineup all ready just to throw him in and we're going to use the 08 celtics online for a little bit so i think that's the plan for tonight six cards away all right so we're going to get them both tonight, but a few hours, we'll do that, we'll take care of it, and we'll be back. Appreciate you guys hanging out, and uh, yeah, talk to you guys in a couple hours. I got a booty. <laughs>